have a special interview with one of the most talented up and coming UK acts. You know, you know, I've I've been talking about this guy for a while, but I let him introduce himself. Uh, what's happening, people? My name's Smiler. Pleasure to be here. Okay, this is Smiler all the way from London. Now I've been following this guy for a long time, and I remember even on the commercial level, there's a couple of your songs, yeah. which naming two Enza and yeah. Spender. Yeah. When I heard those, I was like, I like this. Cause uh -huh. it, it had that different edge because sometimes when I hear some um, UK urban type of tracks, it's a bit. I don't know, it's not as professional sounding, if okay, you get what I mean, yeah, but yeah, the way how you did, the, the way I had the production and how you wrapped and everything and those songs, yeah. it to me was level with the American artists. Wow, I appreciate that. I did, definitely. But um, for those who aren't familiar with you, would you like <coughs> to give um, a brief rundown of your history, how you got started and everything in music? Yeah, um, I've been rapping for a long time, we're talking over 10 years. Um, again, you know, just started as an experiment, found my feet, you know, just headless chicken running around in the game just trying to get on you know I had a lot of um, trials and tribulations and a lot of positive as well at the same time and you know I just pursued the dream okay you know, pretty much I just chased it and I'm, now I'm here okay as you said trials and tribulations and good things you don't have to if you don't want to but yeah. we like we like to go a bit personal <coughs> a bit deep okay. would you like to give some experiences of some bad experience you've had in the past and also some good ones as well well when I say trials and tribulations I mean you know when when you're trying to chase something and you're a rookie it's, it's very difficult, you're inexperienced, you're wet behind the ears and you, you, you know your aim is a bit wayward, you know we're knocking on doors and getting no response, we didn't know how to go about getting songs played on radio, you know we didn't know how to go about getting the right meetings and you know it's just one of those things that maybe if, if I knew now what I knew, if I knew then what I know now, I probably could have saved some time but I wouldn't change it for anything because experience is the best teacher. So you say if you're an up and coming artist, because we do have quite a few up and coming, well, future, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> listening in the station, as well community station, yeah. like to cater to them. Mm -hmm. So your word of advice would be, if you get knocked down, to take it as experience, as opposed to don't let it deter you. Yeah, I mean, like I say, a, a loss is only a loss if you don't learn from it. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with losing or not, you know, not achieving what you want, as long as you carry on training, as long as you, you know, you persevere, and just go even harder the next time. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're now up here in Birmingham, the yeah. second city. Have you been there before? Yeah, yeah, I've been to Birmingham. Oh, you've been to Birmingham. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, do, what do you think of the city? Yeah, yeah, I love, I love Birmingham, and like the vibe up here is cool, man. Every time I come here, it's love, you know. So. Yeah, definitely. What do, what do you think about the? Because lately, you've been seeing people like Roxanne, Lady Leisha, C4, Predator, yeah. Bass Boy. What, what do you think of the Birmingham scene with their music? How it's up and coming as well. I love it, man. I love yeah. it. I mean, you know, Malik from Morris is my dude. Oh uh, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. And of course, I've worked with Leisha, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man. You know what I mean? I, I, I mess with Birmingham differently. Definitely, because one that's that's one thing I was lacking as well. Because I like mm. the fact to see Birmingham come up there. Because you see all the time, Team UK, Team yeah, UK, yeah, yeah. but. You could debate, it's not UK, it's London. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean, but... I mean, London seems to be the hub of the music scene, you know, yeah. everything's down there, all the major stations, etc, etc, but, you know, it's, well, London's very receptive now mm. to outside music. When I say outside, I mean outside of London. Yeah. You know, it's all UK, so, I mean, Midlands, you know, like Scotland, you know, so, you know, it's, it's, it's looking good right now. Have you visited in the places like Scotland and that as well? Yeah, I was in Glasgow, okay. on, well, I went for the Mobos and also did a show down there yeah. with BBC Scotland on December the 18th. How, how do you feel, have you worked with these artists from outside London, how do you feel they, how, how's the chemistry there? Is it there like we've worked with the London artists as well? Yeah, it's just the same, there's, oh, okay. there's absolutely no difference. I mean, I'm, I'm doing a track with Mad Hat McGaw from Scotland. Oh, okay. You know, he's, he's up and coming over there and, you know, as soon as I heard him, I said, you know what, he's... He's hot, he's got passion, you know, and he knows what he's about. So I wanted to do something with him, he was all over it. Um, myself and Malik have actually worked together already. We've got a joint together. Like I say, we're doing stuff, I'm doing, well, I've done something with Leisha. Going to yeah. do some more stuff with her. So, yeah, man. So big things in the pipeline, yeah? Yeah, yeah, definitely. My arms are open. I'm, I'm, I'm very receptive to, okay. to doing music with a lot of different sounds, you know. Okay. Now, with you, with your musical career, mm -hmm. when was the point when you felt... Uh, I've made it, I've started to get somewhere. When Can you name an exact moment? I'm not to date. Oh, you haven't felt that yet? felt like I've made it. Oh, okay. No way. So but, you got um, big, big ambitions then? Yeah, I mean, yeah. to be honest with you, I, I felt as though certain doors I've been knocking on have opened. Yeah. But um, it's, it's, it's crazy because as soon as you walk through one, there's like a million others <laughs> to walk through, <laughs> yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Definitely, definitely. So I, I'm, I'm just great. I mean, they've been milestones. Definitely yeah. been milestones. Like I did a... Um, a radio show in 1990, 1990, 2007, sorry, mm. with um, Marley Miles, Styles P, Jojo, Pellegrino, oh, yeah. 
a few other heavy hitters, and that's before, way before you know anything really started to pop off for me. And that was the courtesy of DJ Two Seven Nine. Okay. So I felt like that was an achievement. You know, going back to back with some of the um, some of the cats in America on the street, and you know, getting recognition over there. Definitely. That was an achievement for me. Getting songs playlisted over here on Radio One, doing festivals. You know, of course, getting my deal. You know, all of these things, they're, they're like big milestones for me. Okay. Do, you, do you hope to maybe take it to the next step? Like last night you had the Brits. Do you hope to maybe be in the Brits next year? Most definitely. Definitely, yeah. yeah of course, <laughs> I mean, you, you know, ambition's everything. So I, I want to push it as far as I can possibly go. And it seems like now, with these times now, you've got people like Rich32, Tiny Temper, yeah. completely bro blowing up, they're getting chart success. Yeah. Even Tiny Temper's even doing well in America as well with yeah, Platinum. Yeah. Crazy. Do, you, do you see that as a kind of inspiration as well? Totally, yeah. totally. I mean, I learn from anybody that's doing good, mm -hmm. no matter how young or old or what genre or, you know, why they're doing good. I just learn from it, you know, I take from it, definitely. Also, as, as I keep stating, <laughs> we're a community station. Yeah. Do you have any words of advice that, as you said before, we've um, knocked downs and bad points to mm -hmm. take as a learning curve? Do you have any other words of advice for any up, up and coming artists? Um, I, I don't feel like I'm in a position to, to school or teach anybody because mm -hmm. I'm still trying myself. But from what I've learned, yeah. I would definitely say that, you know, never, ever give up. Keep definitely. knocking on those doors and just, you know, keep going your hardest. When you think you're giving everything, you could always give a little bit more. So keep going. You know what? One thing that I like about you, which yeah. is a lot different, you're yeah. very humble, very <laughs> almost too humble in a way. But you're, you're very humble. It's good. It's good to see. It's good yeah. to see that. You're expecting something different. No, no, no. That's trying to get me in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But I'm, I'm, I'm glad to see that you're very. Uh, you humble. know, to be honest, you, you know, I just like to keep it as, as real as possible. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Without sounding cliche, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not in a position to, to school anybody. Or act like I'm bigger than anybody, man. Because you know, everybody's got their own, everybody's got their own struggles. Do you get mm, what I'm saying? Definitely. So, yeah. So, what are your views on you know in certain scenes how you have beef between different crews, beef between different artists, and that? Yeah. What are your views on things like that? Have you ever been involved in something like that as well yourself? Not, not in music. Yeah. <laughs> not, in, not in music. Um, in in a way, sometimes it depends to what extent it can be healthy. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Because I mean, like the whole ghetto and P money thing. I'm not sure if you're familiar. Yeah, with that. yeah, definitely. You know that was that was healthy, and there are other certain you know lyrical beefs or whatever else in the game that get listeners entertained. Yeah. And get the views up and you know get the buzz going, but it depends to what extent they're prepared to take. If it starts getting silly, mm. and you know it, you know egos get the better of you, and you start you start getting things to prove, and certain man start feeling punked in and it starts getting mm. stupid. It's like pathetic, you know. You have to remember why you're doing this. You never came in this for beef, you know, you can go anywhere and you can walk out in the street and get someone looking at you wrong and do it. Yeah, Why true. put all your time and effort into something and then risk it? Ooh, definitely. It doesn't make any sense, man. Definitely. But you're up here in Birmingham because you're performing yeah. on the mobile tour, the yeah. Birmingham League. Yeah. How, how do you feel about that? Is that like a big, is that one of the milestones which you previously stated or? What, the mobile tour? Yeah. Definitely. 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 The mobile tour is massive. I mean, even if there was five people in the venue, yeah. Five people or five thousand. The fact that I've been considered, I've been put forward for this type of show, it means a lot to me. And plus, I'm travelling the country, doing different cities. Yeah, it's it's a big deal. That's one one question I'm gonna ask you as well. With mm -hmm. the mobos, mm -hmm. I remember I don't think it was last year or the year before when they first moved out of London. Yeah. Everybody was like, "Why is it moving out of London for? Mm -hmm. Why did it move out of London?" This and that. But in some ways, it's actually helped it. Yeah. What what do you feel about? Do you think that was a good decision to do that? Yeah, definitely, yeah, man. I mean, you know, London's not the be all and end all. Of course, it's home for me, and I love London. But you know, like people need to, you know, be a, a little bit more diverse in their mind and embrace what's going on outside of the city. You know, like the the UK is a lot bigger than London, so maybe, you know. And I rate the mobiles for actually taking it elsewhere mm. and incorporating the local cultures. You know, so it's Definitely. good. Yeah. But um, you as an artist, what artists do you tend to? It can be American, can be from Birmingham, can be all over the UK. Yeah. Um, what artists do you listen? Are you listening to at the moment, and do you rate in that way? You know, at the moment, I'm actually listening to um a lot of the weekend. Oh, okay. The yeah. Weekend, yeah. I like yeah, the nice. weekend, and also Frank Ocean. Um, there's a guy over here called Jay Warner. Oh, okay. Sick. Sick reminds me like quite a lot of you know Frank Ocean, but he's doing his own thing over here. So it's definitely someone you recommend for the future. Hundred yeah. percent. Okay. Yeah, he, he, he's crazy, crazy producer called Blink as well, who he works closely with. Uh, yeah, he's, he's. I think I think I've seen Blink. Is it um, mm -hmm. is that I like an exclamation point? 
Um, or might there be a different link? It might be a different one actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Blinky actually produced the spender. On, oh, okay. On my I lipstick. love I love the way you sampled that. I love it. Thank <laughs> you, bro. Yeah. That was actually a genuine collaboration. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was about to say yeah, that as well. Yeah, yeah. That's a surprise one because yeah. I didn't actually know that. You know, you I did, did, you did. No, I didn't oh, know that because oh, yeah. I hadn't heard of her at the time mm -hmm. when I heard Spender, and then when I saw the bit rolls and things like that. I was like, ah, oh, I can't, what was that track that um, Smiley had again? Because I couldn't remember the exact name of it. Yeah. I just remember it was Sample with Shirley Bassey's Big Spender. Yeah. But when I found out it was actually Lana Del Rey, I was like, wow, yeah, it's okay. Crazy. It's crazy. It was done so like how, did that, how did that come together? We just, um, we had a, a mutual friend who put us in touch, oh, got okay. in the studio and just made it work. You know, no one knew what was going to come of it. Mm -hmm. I don't even know why it started going crazy recently, but, you know, it has. <laughs> so I'm just grateful, man, but yeah. Mm. But also as well, you got a mixtape dropping on the 29th. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you like to tell the listeners about the mixtape, what to expect and everything? The mixtape is called All I Know and it drops on February the 29th. It's going to bring you the latest from Smiler. Exciting music, big music, flow, lyricism, you know, bounce, everything you could possibly want from modern day hip hop. Okay. Now we're now running out of time, so yeah. sadly I have to end the interview. No but we're gonna go straight into your latest track. Yeah. And it's featuring Birmingham's own Lady Leisha, what this version is. Would you like to introduce your track? Yes, this is DeLorean featuring none other than Lady Leisha. Let's go. Yeah. 